In this video, we're going to try just a couple quick examples where we practice factoring using GCFs. So here in our first example, we'll have 6x to the 5th minus 10x to the 4th. And right off the bat, I see that these two terms here do have some things in common. They both have an x and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for anything that's common to both of these guys. And I'm going to see what the greatest common factor is of each of these. Now, just a quick reminder, what's the greatest common factor? That's the largest term that divides evenly into both of these guys. So to start with, we'll look at the coefficients. So what's the GCF of just the 6 and the 10? Well, that would be a 2. 2 is the greatest number, the largest number that divides evenly into 6 and 10. And I also notice that they both have x's, so there's at least an x in my GCF, but how many x's? Well, to, do, to find that out, you actually look at the uh, x that has the smallest exponent. Because if you think about it, that's the most that these guys could have in common would be the smaller of the two um, possibilities. Because anything larger than that, the uh, smaller term would not have that many. So we can pull out up to x to the fourth. So we can factor that out. And then basically next we're going to, you know, you can almost think of this like a game. You can say, what do you need here in these two blanks to get your original polynomial if you distributed 2x to the fourth through to these two terms. And just as a quick side note, if you start with a polynomial, like a, in this case with two terms, and you pull out a GCF, you're still going to have two terms in that polynomial. Don't think you're going to like reduce the number of terms that you have or anything. You'll still have two terms here. So let's think about the first term here. 2 times what would give you 6? 2 times 3 and x to the fourth times what would give you x to the fifth. x to the fourth times x would give you x to the fifth. So 3x is what's remaining in your polynomial here. And then if this is a minus, assuming you pulled out a positive 2x to the fourth, this will still be minus. And 2 times what would give you 10? That would be a 5. And x to the fourth times what would give you x to the fourth? just one. And I already have a five, so five times one would still be five. And we're done. That's it. We pulled out the greatest common factor between these two terms here, and we got a result of 2x to the fourth times the remaining 3x minus five. And the thing to emphasize here is that we created a product. A product is um, one polynomial times another polynomial. And so a final answer, we'd simply have 2x to the fourth times 3x minus 5. Let's look at one last quick example. 4x to the third minus x squared. I see we have at least some x's in common, so I think we can factor using the GCF. Um, I'm going to look at the coefficients first. I've got a 4 and I've got a 1. The GCF between 4 and 1 is just 1. Um, here I've got an x to the third and here I have an x squared, so they both have an x, so I can at least pull out one x, and in fact I can pull out as many as the high, as the, I'm sorry, the lowest or smallest exponent. So I can pull out at least an x squared. And then I'm going to see what's remaining after I pull an x squared out of both of these terms here. So um, x squared times what would give us 4x to the third, well, that would just be 4x. And then this will be a minus. And x squared times what would give me x squared? x squared times 1 is x squared. And so this will be your final answer. And so we're done with these examples.